Hello YouTube friends, want to give you another update about the Model T delivery car. Of course, been working on this uh, rear door latch assembly. And last time I showed you kind of how all those pieces work and fit together. And uh, now you can see it uh, finally installed and how that door latch mechanism works there uh, with the latch going up and then also uh, the latch going down. Uh, has a curve uh, with that rod and that was real simple to do just simply bent that by hand um, just bending it a little bit each time to get it where exactly we needed it uh, so no worries with that and then also uh, these rods are simply held together and on to this uh, crank system here with a 3 16 of an inch steel rod that's been hammered over on either side so really easy to put together um, and uh, have it. I'm just uh, really amazed sometimes about the simplicity of the design uh, that they had back then to accomplish uh, what they needed to do. So got those done and uh, there's no latch for the other door that just simply closes first. And then this one comes over and it's gonna have a piece of uh, metal trim that will overlap on the other edge of the door and that'll hold that door shut there as well. Another thing I was able to get uh, done and finished was uh, get this beading work done on these slats, the side slats. And we just did a double bead on top and bottom and then just left the center section there. So I think that's gonna look really uh, nice when we get those all stained up there. And then also uh, we were able to get the rear uh, tail light mounted. This was a uh, bracket, taillight bracket, that was only used uh, for 1910 uh, model coupes and then also for the delivery car uh, because it kicks out the taillight um, past the, the body section there uh, so it wouldn't interfere with the rear doors. And um, it, on the plans, it really doesn't show exactly where it's mounted. Uh, it doesn't even show it at all, like giving measurements or anything like that. So I just kind of was looking at pictures. I had my taillight out here to kind of get a good place where I think it would look good. But then uh, as I was looking, I saw that uh, where the uh, one of the carriage bolts was, um, that bracket would kind of line up really nice right there. And so I went ahead and used the center uh, hole on that bracket and ran my carriage bolt through that. And uh, it looks really good right there. And I think that's exactly where, where it was because I, I thought maybe it was in between here because it had the three screw holes. Um, but uh, it, it looks really good uh, use, utilizing that, that bolt there. So these uh, wood screws, these are number 18. They are big suckers and uh, those will just go on either side in those other two remaining holes for that as well. One other thing that we're gonna be uh, working on coming up is uh, the uh, roof rail section. And this is pretty much uh, the last remaining part here of, uh, of this build, uh, getting the roof section done. Of course, there's two side rails and then there is top bows. Uh, I believe there is nine of those uh, that go from the back to the front and uh, they all have a um, curve to them um, so that way water will shed on either side of the delivery car and it's curved in the back uh, but as we start moving forward uh, that curve starts to flatten out by the time we get towards the front it'll be just completely straight uh, across the top there. So that's a uh, uh, thing that we got to do. So it's got the roof rails, the bows, and then there are slats uh, that run the length of the delivery car. And if you can remember also the roof rail section, uh, it's gonna go up and then it's gonna come over uh, like a C. And uh, so those roof uh, slats are gonna have to be steam bent. And uh, so we've been working to get all that uh, stuff together. This is uh, gonna be my steaming can here. Uh, picked this up off Facebook Marketplace. 
and cleaned it out really good. Uh, took off all the, the cap material there for that. And uh, we'll just simply put a piece of radiator hose uh, through this and then we'll get uh, some PVC pipe and set up a simple steam uh, bending uh, box uh, for that. And I'll use a Coleman stove uh, with uh, some propane for that. Uh, I already went ahead and tested this and was able to get it up to temperature. A lot of steam coming out of it. Uh, so I think we're going to have some uh, good progress with that as well. So we'll be getting all that uh, stuff here uh, together here pretty soon. One of the things that I'm going to have to do is uh, this body dolly here. I found out that as I've been building this, um, since I'm building this in a two-car garage, the garage door height uh, is uh, too low uh, for where I have this car sitting right now, this uh, body, and uh, it's gonna hit the roof rail section. I won't be able to get it in and out of the garage. So I'm gonna have to cut down this uh, body dolly. I'm gonna have to remove the body and then cut down those posts there and lower uh, the, uh, the section here so I can uh, get this uh, body in and out of the garage when I need to for that. So that's kind of gonna be the next uh, process here, getting that and then getting the roof rail section done, getting the top bows and then on to the slats. And that will pretty much be the final uh, section here of the uh, delivery car. Uh, framework wise and then we can start moving on to getting it skinned in metal. Um, hopefully I'm going to have uh, my friend Brad come over and uh, he's going to help me do some steam bending. Uh, he's never done it. I've never done it so it'll be an experience for both of us. Uh, Got to make a jig for that uh, to get those uh, those uh, slats all steam bent, but uh, you kind of need an extra hand to do that because you're moving it from the steam box and then over to the jig, getting it clamped down. Um, and since they're very long um, and they are pretty thin, they're only 5 16 of an inch thick. So you got to move pretty quickly because that wood starts to set up. So definitely going to need a need a hand for that. So just some a uh, little bit of updates there, and uh, thanks for joining and watching. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend.